गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन आई होप यू ऑल अंडरस्टूड द फर्स्ट चैप्टर वेल एंड ऑल्सो डिड द रीडिंग ऑफ द बोर्ड चैप्टर फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड बाई योर सेल्फ टूडे वी विल डू द टेक्स्ट बुक एक्सरसाइज ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर टू थ्रू दिस वीडियो नाउ क्विकली ओपन पेज नंबर ट्वेल्व एवरी वन एंड टेक योर पेंसिल इन योर हैंड नाउ come to the a exercise tick the correct option first of all there are two options given in the bracket you will choose the correct one and fill in the blank as i filled okay so first dash cannot take care of itself who cannot take care of itself a baby or an adult a baby so a baby cannot take care of itself okay now come to the second point when we grow dash our body becomes weak when our body becomes weak when we are young or old when we grow old so our body becomes weak now come to the third point we dash tie shoe laces on our own by the time we become a young child whenever we become a young child we can or cannot we can tie shoe laces or any other things on our own self okay now come to the fourth point a seed grows into a dash whenever a seed grows it grows into a seedling or flower seedling it is also called baby plant so a seed grows into a seedling fifth point an egg of a bird hatches into a sapling or nestling nestling it is also called baby bird now come to the b exercise guess the rhyming words for the ones given here and write them in the given blanks to get meaningful sentence as i filled first point is fall giving sings mow so use some rhyming words and make the meaningful sentence so i made the sentence meaningful like all living things grow fall all giving living sings things more grow so my sentence is all living things grow okay now come to the next page page number 13 second point is a buckling slows into a truck buckling slows into a truck so use some rhyme, rhyming words and make the sentence like a duckling grows into a duck buckling duckling slows grows truck duck so sentence is a duckling grows into a duck now come to the third point a tick blows into a pen a chick grows into a hen tick chick blows grows pen hen now our sentence is a chick grows into a hen very good now come to the c exercise look at the images given below which of the following activities can you do on your own 
put a tick in the boxes. Now here are some pictures given. See carefully and tick. On those pictures which you can do on your own. Okay. So do this activity in your homework. Mention the HW here. And do this activity in your homework, in your textbook. Now come to the D exercise. Answer the following questions. Answer the following questions. You will do these questions in your notebook. I will explaining these questions here right now and showing an answer sheet of this exercise. And the photograph of that answer sheet that I am explaining is uploaded on our school website. Please collect from there and note down each question answer from the answer sheet in your notebook. Also, note down the question from your book from here and answer from that answer key. And make sure your writing should be very neat and clean. Now, have a look of your answer sheet. This type of answer sheet is uploaded on school website please go there and collect it first of all you will mention the date then chapter number then skip a line and in third line you will write the name of the chapter chapter 2 growing up also don't write ch1 sorry ch2 or l2 write chapter complete spelling of chapter then you will write words, pronunciation and meaning. Also, make this line using with the scale. Okay, then start the question answers. Now, here are two homework for you. First, learn the word, words meanings of chapter 1 and chapter 2. First, you will learn... The word meaning of chapter 1, then chapter number 2. After, draw a colorful picture of the life cycle of a tree in your notebook. You will draw a colorful picture of a life cycle of a tree in your notebook. Okay. Now, come to our exercise. First of all, who is a newborn baby? Who is a newborn baby? As I taught, a baby who is born recently is not known as a newborn baby. A baby who is born recently is called newborn baby. Okay. Now, second question is, what do you mean by an infant? What do you mean by an infant? A very small baby from birth to somewhere between 6 months and 2 years of age who needing almost constant care and attention called infant. Now who is a toddler? Who is called a toddler? Who is called a toddler? A young child who has only just learnt to walk is called a toddler. A young child who has only just learnt to walk is called a toddler. Okay. The fourth question is what is a seedling? Seedling is also called a baby plant. A very young plant. Or tree that has grown from a seed is called a seedling. A fifth question, what are nestlings? Nestlings are also called baby birds. 
So a bird that is too young to leave its nest or a baby bird called nestling. Okay, hope you understood well. You will do this exercise in your notebook with good handwriting. Also, learn the word meaning of chapter 1 and draw a colorful picture of the life cycle of a tree in your notebook. Also, you will do the reading of this chapter again by yourself. Okay?